Hey guys, welcome back to Big Ben Lewis. I'm Taylor Sislav. What's up, y'all? And today we're going to be reacting to Era. This episode is called... Reset. This is season 8, episode 6. Yep, and last episode, they went to Russia. And um, they did this um, cage fight stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> cage fight stuff. And... <laughs> Oliver was trying to get a weapon that can take down Marnovu, um, and um, Laura was supposed to. Oh, we're on two different, yeah. different parts. Go yeah. ahead. We're on two different parts. We have to the process um, by one of the Russian soldiers. mob people. Mob. They noticed Oliver was capuchon, and <laughs> they have great beef with him. And um, Oliver didn't know. They didn't know Oliver was going to be there, and they didn't like the illegal business going down. Right. So they tested him to try to find out what this weapon was. They made Mia good. submit to one of a test that Oliver had to do back at his time on the island. Mm -hmm. um, Laura was supposed to betray Oliver. She didn't, and she also exposed Lila. In the meantime, Lila had a trap set, I guess, and they all got tranquilized yeah. and knocked unco non conscious. Unconscious. Non conscious. Unconscious. Non conscious. Are you serious? <laughs> no, it's unconscious, but I'm okay, saying non-conscious say. just to be funny. Um, so yeah, they got knocked non-conscious and... No! <laughs> and yeah, that's about the main parts. Uh, Dicker recruited Roy and convinced him to come back to the team. And in the trailer, we see... Quentin that... is back this episode, yes. Yes, and also that one... I don't know what happened, but Barry was not his member. Oliver? Yeah, Oliver. Oh, I'm... Ah! Oh. Said Barry. <laughs> Is it just like flash? Yeah, we didn't lost our mind, Joe. We just it's late. It's past midnight. But we doing this anyway. Alright. Yeah, it's twelve thirty three. Alright, so we're gonna get into this episode. Cause we you know how it gets when you're tired and you didn't you know, you get delirious. Right. Dad, what are you still doing here? How do we get here? What do you mean? Uh I was on a roof with John and Laurel. And we were trains. Yeah, by Lila. But Dad said it was all just a big misunderstanding. No. It don't work out. Uh, what did we do with Bureau's plan for the weapon? You said we didn't need it anymore. <sighs> Why? The monitor's still out there. You're still a threat. Hey, Dad, are you okay? You, you look like you don't remember any of this. Did you like There's some I more mind games. Game. Well, that should be easy. Is this even real? Wait for you, that fancy fundraiser. Yeah, this is not real. This is some behind the trick. Hey, Queen. I know when you laughed out loud. Hey, Queen. I'm not sure. 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 I'm you okay, Mom? No. This is... This is... This is the monitor. Oh, your wife is working with the monitor, John. What? I thought we already settled this. I have been working with the monitor. No, we have not settled it. I don't... I don't remember that. I do not remember. I'll, I'll, I'll just... Maybe she'll go home. I'll get a little sleep. Okay? Just some rest. Oliver, right, there you are. There's my computer. Come on. Mayor Quinn Lance. That's how he noticed the monitor. Looks like he's here to ghost. Quinn, how we miss Quinn. Welcome home, Quinn. You don't know how much you miss a character to the back of your screen. This is not possible. This is... What? Don't tell me you're scared of a little last man in organization, Albert. It was, man. Temporarily. It's been a while since I've seen you. Like, yeah, permanent days, man. Yeah. You're living in the man like it's been years. I mean, like, if he's right. still alive. Right. right. So, listen, I was thinking the doctor's calling a miracle. 
I was without oxygen for so long, I should have been six feet under. Felt like I escaped my fate or something. Well, I like this kid, we remember it this way. It's coming to see you. Son of a bitch, in the meantime, you sneak around the back and do your thing. Why do you feel like he's gonna ruin it? The longer this drags on, the worse it gets. Like after the first time, it's the worst thing for us. Oh, yeah. I know. Like, if someone comes to the he already is the last few episodes, it feels like, you know, in a way. This isn't over until you stop it, Oliver. That's the only way out. What are you talking about? Well, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Don't tell me this is going to be a happy death day. Oh, it is. That's why this episode is called Reset. Every time he dies, he's going to relive it over and over. Happy death day. How many times I've never said that thought? Every time you die. I need to stop a bomb. Nobody else is here right now. Just calm down, man. If there was a bomb, we wouldn't know about it. Do you actually believe me? Oliver, I've seen one daughter him. die and come back to life twice. I've seen another come from some other earth. I've seen a guy in red run so fast he can reverse time. This is not exactly <laughs> outside the norm. It right. All I've seen a giant shit pop up in the all sky. Caught <laughs> aliens, like. Oh, it's you. Would you relax? We are both here for the same thing. Hey. How did you know to come down here? I may have learned about the existence of this place as a part of a former career. How did you know about the bomb? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Because you can't stop well, the first time. Not going to remember. Anyway, there is a crazy space god who has been trapped in a time loop. Yeah. Oh, me too. She knows, okay. It's my second time through. Same. I wake up in the bunker. I wake up in my apartment. So clearly the monitor's doing this. You mean punishing us? Yeah. We so why is John have around? royally pissed him off the most. In Russia, I disobeyed him, and you, you tried to destroy him. I'm just really happy to see you. Yeah, that's such a relief yeah, to see you, too. Oh, I gotta say, I'm glad you let me back here so you can hold tight. You know that I'm too. Who else would you be? Oh, look, I'm gonna start to interrupt with you, I need to go. Why didn't he just leave? Maybe just thought. I know it's tough, but you have to trust me. I'm gonna need a vest. That's a good idea. Yeah. Ooh. Why did that reset the Quentin's death is what the blue resets it? But who would you shot him? Quentin's death is the reset point, which means that saving him must be the key. I truly have no idea what you're talking about, but whatever it is you're feeling toward me, that's on you. Thank you for the advice, Dr. Phil. And now here's some for you. The next time you decide to double cross someone, don't pick a woman who specializes in revenge. You're threatening me. Yeah, what? Yes. Yes, I am. But don't worry, you won't remember anyway. And by the way, I pull off the short hair way better than you know. <laughs> Patty. <laughs> She's so pretty. Oh my god. What are you doing here? Got on the plot of a Bill Murray movie. Well, I'm just gonna go with a Tom Cruise flick, but basically. I was gonna go ahead and just do it. Glad that you believe me. No, you decide. To save me. That's where I could have gone. What? I'm and, sorry. And I basically just told you you're a ghost and you're completely okay with that? It doesn't it doesn't phase you? You're completely calm? Yeah, I always felt like I cheated you to death with that one. He feels it's just because like I died in the right way now. Saving it's his daughter. Happening. The person who believed me. That was his last hope. After losing both his daughters in his lifetime, he wasn't gonna lose another one. Especially after he got Sarah back too. So he got a version of Walmart. Yeah. You figure out who wants to be dead? Not yet. But he did figure out the location of the Mark's hideout. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. 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 
Okay, he did reset so Quentin didn't die yet, but he's probably about to die because he's probably seriously injured. Lila. good seeing them work together because we never actually see those two work together. Yeah. I mean, these are versions of them. Whoa! Keep your head down, Quinn. Did he get shot again? I 
these cops. Ooh. Jesus. These arrows did not come in play. <laughs> they blow the people to hell. Oh I still ain't made peace with it. It looks like Fred's not in there. You just get ready to move. Yeah, we're gonna fight till it's over. Tonight is the night. This is the moment. I'll see you on the other side, Oliver. system here all over to die to let him know that no matter how many times he You're gonna be fine. no matter how much he fights no matter how much he does to try to change things he can't he has to accept what's gonna happen to him same with Barry this is the whole point of the lesson Laurel accepted that she couldn't save Quentin and it freed her he has to accept his fate that's the whole point of Barry. This is why Barry's in the situation he's in tonight because he got so tired of that. He what happened to him. So Barry and Oliver learned the same lesson today. What's the matter, Oliver? You look like you've seen a ghost. Where you at, Monica? You big brown bastard. Four braided, four headed. Congratulations, Oliver. <laughs> now you understand. So Monica. Why did the monitor go to all of this trouble just to just to prove a point? You've always been a man who needed to see things for himself. Yeah, Telling you wouldn't have been enough. How long have you worked for him? A while. He lied to us. Lie like you. I don't even know what it is. I know. But you will. And how does the deal help her family? What I can't tell you is there is an evil coming that is greater than anything we've ever had to face. Who's talking? I don't know. But you're the only chance we have. They weren't useless. The dwarf star particles, Dr. Wong, even the antimatter weapon, they all have a purpose. Just not the one you were expecting. I guess when she puts it like that, it doesn't make the monitor seem so bad. But she should probably get a little. Right. This looks like the tent from Leanne. Leanne this is like the tent Yafei yeah, died in. Baby tracks everywhere. Sound like me and one of y'all. 
not paying attention and you're stepping in there. So Listen, everybody pay attention. Felicity almost Learn. lost her life. Thea almost lost mistakes. her life. Malcolm Merlin did lose his life Why through a trap. Mm -hmm. Okay? So don't goof off. Don't don't do none of that. Pay attention and listen. Because when one of those go off, I don't want nobody telling me that I need more than that's not, that's exactly what I was saying. The lady is spoke, you know. But uh <laughs> That's what I was saying. I hate that that all the rest accept his fate. Right. Marnovu, because I was wondering, because I'm like, the first episode of the monitor was watching everything he's doing. So I was like, obviously the monitor knows he's been defying him right. and plotting against him. I'm like, there's no way. So this was his way of teaching all of our lessons to accept his fate. It was a harsh, but uh, wait. Right, because Oliver was painting the monitor as a bad guy. And the monitor, I, I guess he's not. I mean, he does, he works he in mysterious ways, but. He does what he needs to do. So. And the way he does things don't always look like his intentions. And he doesn't get full are. answers. But he gave Laurel her moment to say her peace with Quentin, which set her free. Oliver got to, well, also say his peace to Quentin, but also, more importantly, he got time with his, you know, his family. He gave John time with his son. Well, well, I, I mean, I don't know that John dies. We haven't seen him in the future, but... Um, I don't think he dies, but we, we got to see, um, the monitor granted Felicity time to Oliver, so he must not be too bad of a guy. Um, last season, he allowed Mia, John Dickel Jr., and William, uh, not that's a John Dickel Jr., uh, Connor and William to come back to the present to spend time with his, you know, these past few weeks with Oliver and the gang, and, um, Oliver's been reunited with the team. He's been reunited with everybody on these different journeys. So this was Oliver's final goodbye to everybody and a way to help him accept his fate. He's learned a lesson each episode time. and yeah. each He's place got to he's see somebody gone. each episode who played a key role in his life thus far. Man, I would be so interesting. If someone went back to season one and watched it like every like episode and like written down everything he learned, like Every life lesson. I would learned. love to do that if I had the I time. I would love to read. Through I actually did that for The Walking Dead, seasons one through three. Yeah. I did it until that. I ran you out. Show of... that when you react for the first three minutes. I did. I did go through. I think it was this spring. I went through and I I literally watched every episode. And I would pause and I read every detail I noticed and what episode I know it connected to, each reference, everything what I thought certain um, things meant and um, how I how would, I interpreted it. I would love to see the Arrow version. I would love to see the Arrow version of that. Maybe um, one day. There's a lot of seasons. Right. We got over, what? I know we're past the 150 mark. We'll probably end up 180 something or something like that. Yeah. In the 180s. That's a lot of episodes to go through. But going back on track, it just, it just broke my heart the way he said it. When he's just like, now I know I can't my fate. I was just like, like I was saying with Barry why earlier. Like, that? like I was saying about Barry, he had the same issue where um, he was offered an alternate future. He said, Ramsey yeah. said, I can save you. I can save you from crisis on the speed force. I said, yeah, that's true. We can save you. Um, I mean, he can save you from it, but it's going to come he at can a cost. Save you the wrong way. It's going to, yes, and, it, and it's going to go the wrong way. And it, this comes with a cost. Um, and Barry chose wrong. And now Oliver, this was his last few episodes, he chose wrong to defy and change his fate. But in the end, Barry, no, Oliver are probably going to be able to change their fate. I still have hope that, well, like I said, I, I thought the one girl was going to write the article, but Iris ended up writing it. So Which I was wrong even, about that. So funny. maybe Barry and Oliver can't change their fates. And we're going to see. I mean, there's obviously, I know there's two episodes after Arrow, after Crisis. There's. This, the next episode after Crisis for Arrow is the Canary spinoff. So Oliver probably won't be in that. And then there's the final episode, which is our goodbye to everybody. I don't know what we'll see. Um, but also, it might not necessarily mean Oliver dies because Felicity went to him in some capacity. So maybe he just has he to... He, yeah, for some reason, he's trapped somewhere. I don't know. I really don't know, but he has to accept whatever it's happening. Or maybe his sacrifice was to fake his own death. I have no idea. Take his own death in reality. And yet he can live in a different... I don't even know. Different I can't even know. I don't even know. Like, I don't know. But 
I just know Crisis is just gonna be. It's gonna be a plot twist. It's gonna be exciting and miserable. I feel like it's gonna be like, you know how one plot t plot twist be like enough. Be so shocking. It's gonna I be. Feel like we're gonna have like fifteen bucks. And they already said it's gonna end on a cliffhanger, so for the first three episodes, yeah. I hate it. I don't like. I like the fairs. Gonna get you interested and more involved and get you thinking. I do not. I'm I absolutely hate against cliffhangers. I'm absolutely against cliffhangers. On the other hand, on the other hand, because like, like <laughs> really, really, and they just they like, literally leave you like really. Now I have to interpret what I think is gonna happen, and then. But they get you thinking. They get you thinking. No, I, I think anyway. I don't need you to make me think. I'm gonna think regardless of whatever they show me. I want to know what's gonna happen. Don't play with me. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm gonna think. You don't need to tell me to think. I'm gonna think regardless. Like just give me what I need. To, I give me the answers. Come on. I'm tired of waiting. I've been waiting. I have, <laughs> life is all about waiting. I'm tired of waiting. Listen, I'm we so impatient. tired of waiting. We impatient. No, I've been patient long enough. Give me my damn answers. <laughs> tell me what the hell I need to know. <laughs> give me my episodes. Why I gotta wait for the last two episodes of Crisis till next year? Come on now. Next year. Oh no. <laughs> well, in January. But... Yeah. yeah, we get three episodes and then it, we it's going to end on a cliffhanger and then we don't get the next few episodes until January. That's what happened. <laughs> I don't know. It's happening. Mm -mm. And they announced today spoilers if y'all don't want to know. Skip the, this part of the skip video. I skip at seconds. least 30 seconds. Um, They announced that when it does end on a cliffhanger, at whatever time passes in real life on our time is going to pass on the show. So whatever happens in Crisis, these first three episodes, is going to last for at least a month in their time, too. A month? Oh. So it's not Crisis. Whatever happens is going to happen in the first three episodes. And in the last two, we're going to get the aftermath. Wow. In whatever else, else happens. All right, you're you're good. You're in spoiler-free ter territory. Um uh, anything else on this episode that you got? Okay, well, be sure to let us know what you guys thought of this episode. Be sure to like, like comment, share, and subscribe. And, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys back. next week for yeah. the mid... No. Is next week... No, no. Yeah? Yeah, we only got... I think next week's the mid-season finale. Cook Crisis is episode 8. So, yes, we'll catch you guys. Well, I mean, Arrow doesn't necessarily have a mid-season because this is just oh, a yeah. mid-season. Yeah, I'm we'll rambling on, y'all. See y'all. Or whatever. Next.